So let's start with, we already talked about breathing, Mm -hmm. right? So what about exercise? Mm -hmm. Um, I think the thing about exercise that I think is, is a cool way of thinking about how to use exercise to, um, get yourself kind of exercising within the right time and the right type of exercise is that you can, you can use exercise to, to jumpstart your sympathetic arousal, right? So, so, and that's the rev up system. Um, and if you really use exercise to like get your heart racing, get your, um, you know, your breathing super fast, get sweaty, get your muscles exhausted. What you're doing is you're having a major stress response, right? You're having a major sympathetic arousal response. And what naturally happens after you have a really big sympathetic arousal response is a few hours later, your restorative, I mean, your restorative immediately comes in to try to calm your heart rate down, right? Mm -hmm. Right when you're done with your sprint, your heart rate is immediately like working on trying to, your restore system is working on calming your heart rate down. But there's also a longer term um, restorative increase that happens hours later after a big sympathetic schwitz, Mm -hmm. is what I like to call it. Um, And so the timing of this exercise is highly um, correlated with getting into, with whether you can get into a good down state. Because if you um, exercise too late in the evening, what you're doing is you're keeping, you're going to have this very big sympathetic revved up state that's going to block your ability to get into sleep, right? right? Um, and sleep, and also it's going to block your ability to get your sympath, your, your restore system coinciding, the activation of the restore system coinciding with your slow um, with your sleep system. Mm-hmm. So actually there's a, there's a little there's a animation of that over line. here. Right. Yeah. So if this is the day, right, from daytime to nighttime on the x-axis, if you hit a, the a button. button, do the button thing. So the exercise is going to spike your rev, your sympathetic arousal, right? right? And then following that, a little while later, you're going to have this really big, go oh, one more time, Restore follows, right? And what's happening here is this is where your body's like, oh my God, that was so awful. I didn't have enough resources. I was exhausted. I'm now in pain. And it doesn't, it doesn't just replenish your glycogen, right? The, the sort of the, the energy is of, of the cells. It also it increases the glycogen levels right. so that by the next time you're supposed to be exercising, you have more glycogen in your muscles mm. so that you can exercise even more intensely. And that's this idea of like recovery plus, right? right? That every time you exercise, if you give yourself a really nice big restored downstate period, mm. you actually are able to ratchet up your abilities because your body keeps producing more restorative stuff during the downstate. So when you exercise in the morning, you get this really nice restore system, do one more click of the button, that coincides with your deep sleep. Mm. But if you exercise too late in the day, one more click, then what you have oh. is, and one, then is this just gonna go? I yeah, there we go. Oh, small. look at that. There it is. Wow, I did not know it had that quality. <laughs> 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 what you have is, is that the, um, your exercise is now keeping your sympathetic system up too high so that you don't have the restore system comply with when you're having your slow waves. You don't get into deep sleep as well, Mm -hmm. very restless sleep, and you don't have this really nice synchronization between the restore system and the slow wave system. I mean, one I have a great example of that. One of the people I uh, interviewed for the book is this guy, Glover Teixeira, who Mm -hmm. is a major MMA guy who is the oldest world champion ever. Mm-hmm. Um, he was like 41 or 42 when he won the championship last year, this time last year. Um, and he has, you know, he's like downstate maven, mega, mega. Mm-hmm. And he um, is so careful about keeping himself in the downstate at all times because he says that sleep is his biggest um problem, basically trying to get enough sleep. Because if he exercises anywhere after 1 p.m., his sleep is totally screwed. 
even if he stays super, super calm for the rest of the day. So he basically always starts exercise at 11 a.m., ends at 1 p.m. And, you know, in his exercise, it's, it's beyond what you could possibly imagine right. exercising. Yeah. It's like he says he drops seven pounds every time he exercises. In sweat. In, just water weight. Yeah. In, in, something. in something. something. I don't know what's going on with that guy, but it's, it's scary. Yeah. Right. So, um, uh, so he's very clear about not only does he stop exercising after 1 p.m., but then for the rest of the day, he doesn't really move. Like mm. he, he doesn't, he, he's like, su he calls it his chill. He stays in the super chill mode. Right. He barely wanders around. You yeah. know, he really wants to keep, it's all about his heart rate. Yeah. Keeping himself in a down state for as long as possible so that he's recharging, recharging, recharging until the next time he's got to exercise. So what is your recommendation on the uh, optimal time to exercise. We are not Mr. Teixeira, right? Our livelihood is not, you know, MMA, you know? So for just the general folks out there, what would you say is probably the best time to exercise? Well, it depends on the exercise. So so um, I go into, a, I, I really went down into a, a wormhole <laughs> with this because uh, the the cardiovascular exercise that really spikes up your sympathetic arousal should be in the morning, mm. for sure. Okay. But our muscles. Um, so so uh, there's a, I have a long section in the book where I talk about the difference between sort of strength related training and cardiovascular speed type of training. Mm -hmm. um, and um, it turns out that our muscles are actually most um, in their upstate in the afternoon. So if you were going to sort of really time your exercise, you'd want to do the cardiovascular work that spikes up sympathetic arousal in the morning. Mm -hmm. And then you could do weights in the afternoon where you're actually at your strongest. 